I'd like to welcome to Drawing with Fred, Mr. Graham King. Welcome, Graham. Hey, how you doing, Fred? What's going on? Now, Graham, you are an actor and a model, and you're very much into fitness. Now, we hear all the time from different sources why it's so important to stay in shape. Sure. So let me ask you, why do you feel it's important that people stay in shape? Well, I mean, for me, you know, I, I started, uh, you know, lifting weights when I was 14 and playing sports kind of my whole life before that, ice hockey, lacrosse, whatnot. And um, I think for me, it's just about, um, you know, making your body feel great, making your mind feel great as well, too. It's kind of tied in. Um, it goes with a sort of a positive outlook on life. And, um, you know, just, you know, taking something and, and helping it, you know, grow and mature and, and change is, is really phenomenal. It's a really rewarding experience. And what's your daily fitness routine? Um, so typically, I'll, uh, you know, get up around 7 o'clock. Um, I like to go for a run in the morning before I eat breakfast. I might have maybe like a power bar or something light before, just give myself a little bit of energy. Um, and then after a run, which could last about, you know, 20 minutes, half an hour, um, I'll have a big breakfast and um, work during the morning, but then I always make sure that I, you know, get a good workout in pretty much every day. You know, that could be lifting weights for about 45 minutes to an hour. Um, playing ice hockey, um, you know, things like that, so. What would you suggest uh, someone do who has a typical, let's say, nine to five job, but wants to stop with the junk food and really wants to exercise and eat right? What type of foods would you suggest that they eat, keeping in mind they have to work during the day and their time, you know, either before they go to work or after they come home is limited? Yeah, sure. No, that's a great question. I think um, the biggest thing, if you've got a busy schedule and you're working that kind of typical 9 to 5 schedule that most of us have, and it's pretty hectic, you got a lot of other stuff going on, you really got to set up a plan for yourself. So setting up a list, like you said, of great foods and things to stick to for a diet, it's really important. Um, you know, for me, you know, you got to experiment a little bit. I found that, you know, you know, for the breakfast, if you do things like, you know, egg whites, keep it lean, maybe a yolk yolk or two um, to get some of the vitamins in there, but, you know, keep the fat limited. That's really great. Um, whole grains are awesome in the morning, you know. Um, you can do, like, sweet potato home fries. You can do whole grain bread, oatmeal, things like that. Fruits are important, you know, like strawberries, bananas, berries, things like that. Um, and then, you know, for, uh, for, you know, during the day, you just want to stick to good proteins, chicken, tuna, turkey, steak, things like that, um, vegetables, really any type of vegetables you want. So just really kind of whole, whole foods, things that are organic and whole foods. So nothing processed, canned foods in general, try to stay away from. And how early would you suggest, let's say, you know, a child, five, six, seven, how early would you suggest they get into some sort of good food routine? Um, I think, I mean, it, it, you know, it's a good question, but I think it starts with the parents. I mean, you got to make sure that you're providing them with stuff that's good on the menu, kind of like the, the list we just talked about. Um, you know, kids are obviously going to, you know, want to eat what their peers are eating and, um, you know, not really know the science behind nutrition and why they should eat well. But I think the earlier you can educate them and give them the right foods to eat and, you know, let them have fun with that and eat what they want, you know, you're going to have a a healthier upbringing and better habits at an early age because it's it's always harder to you know um, change your habits when you're doing it for 15 20 years you know so and speaking of key. change of habits um, let's say you know someone did decide okay no more chips no sure. more soda um, would you suggest they wean themselves off and then go right away to the good stuff or just stop cold turkey and start taking the good stuff I mean at the end of the day you know it's it, it comes down to action and actually, you know, putting uh, your actions into words and doing something different with your diet because you can talk all day and, you know, plan all day, but you have to really eat that stuff and <laughs> maybe, yeah, exactly, and not eat the other stuff. But, uh, yeah, I think that, you know, you don't want to um, necessarily, you know, go crazy and say, you know, I'm going to eat the most strict diet. I'm only going to eat tuna and water and, you know, some crazy, you know, bodybuilding diet when you've been eating pretty – sporadically and whatever you want for you know maybe even years because um, you're not going to follow it you know you're going to end up going back into your old habits as soon as you 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 know 
have a moment of, of relapse, you're going to eat junk food, and it's going to ruin it. So yeah, slowly get into it. You know, make your list, make your plan, and try to buy those foods, stick to eating those foods. Have, you know, if you need a, maybe a snack that's off that list once a day, that's fine. But try to make it a goal over the next couple of weeks to really stick to those foods because that's really going to make the, the real change mm -hmm. okay. in, in the physique and the way you feel and your health and performance. So. Very interesting. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for being on the show. Absolutely. I appreciate it. Thank you. Absolutely, Fred.